This video will demonstrate a software setup for a media center computer using Voice Meter and Reaper. Reaper is using uh, WAS API exclusive mode to connect the line input of its sound card, this computer sound card, the media center computer sound card, which is just the native real tech on the motherboard. So we have a cable TV coming in the line input of that sound card, and it comes in here through Reaper's system, which is in WAS API exclusive mode, connecting the line input to the Realtek sound output. Here's the cable TV input. $100 a month, $70. Here's desktop audio using voice meters, aux, virtual card as a default player windows player windows playback device port on um, where you went and what you saw and um i have a usb mic hooked up through voice meters input number two hardware input we also have a line input from a, a fm radio coming in input line three and this is what that sounds like. Mendoza, Lisa Madigan, and House Speaker Michael Madigan all deny the accusation. The Speaker's spokesman, Steve Brown, pulled no punches. So we have cable TV, desktop audio, USB microphone, USB line input, filling up the whole options of voice meter and using Reaper's own ASIO driver called Reroute ASIO. So that is the A1 sound device for voice meter using reroute ASIO. So for anything on input one, that would be reroute one and two. My microphone is reroute three and four. The line input is reroute five and six. And reroute has up to 16 channels. Now on this this one right here, the desktop audio, we're using reroute seven and eight. One interesting uh, feature of voice meter is it has an ASIO return. So for every output of every track and reaper in the routing system we add an additional hardware output to choose reroute 1 and reroute 2 same thing for desktop audio reroute 1 reroute 2 USB line input same thing so everything goes back to this first channel and then out the B1 sound card which is voice meter veo which is where Audacity is listening. Voice meter output. Where this breakaway RTA is listening. As you see the uh, spectrum analyzer, the VU meters, and the oscilloscope. As well as this recording software is listening to voice meter VAO. So everything that comes in hardware input 1 is going out to be one sound card. Desktop, uh, excuse me, desktop audio is using voice meter aux as a default playback device. And reroute automatically and so does voice meter as long as you're in composite mode will separate the channels so that each input represents a different reroute ASIO channel. This input one would be one and two we don't have a track and reaper since we're using this more of an output router to the voice meter veo sound card so starting with hardware input 2 equals reroute 3 and 4 reroute 5 and 6 on hardware input 3 and so forth so that makes it handy to communicate voice meter with reaper and then back and forth so if you had a skype you could also have it listen to voice meter veo and have it for its output send skype at voice meter aux that way your skype in 
input and output would not mix together and cause any feedback. And everything on Reaper that you want to be sent to the input of Skype, all you have to do is add that one additional hardware output, reroute one and reroute two. The uh, best features of Reaper are being able to apply these VST plugins. We've gone over this in a previous video. So we have a similar setup here to help equalize the volume and EQ and kind of adjust the frequencies to suit your ear. So here's cable TV. It's on this particular debate. Uh, yeah. One side saying, hey, I think it's terrible. I think the American that's without the CIA has any VST plugins. You can look into someone's home, their cell phones, their cars, manipulate these things through their technology. Uh, the CIA says, but we're not using it illegally on Americans. The other side saying, uh, the CIA is now exposed. Our enemies, our friends, they'll know a lot of the methodologies exactly. that we're using. So uh, it's terrible from two different debates, but there are those who think it's good this information is out there so Americans are aware of the capabilities. What do you think of that argument? I, I think it's ridiculous, absolutely absurd. The fact is, I want the CIA to have every possible uh, weapon they have to use against the enemy. We have uh, uh, safeguards in place in, in the U.S. with our. And those plugins were described in the previous video, so I won't go over them again. Here's desktop audio. I got kidnapped. I always get oh. murdered. <laughs> Always. I don't know what it is. I've been killed like three In times. In the sense that you're uh, doing... Yes. Let's see your dead person glitch on his face. Usually like duct tape over my mouth. Oh. 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 Wow. <laughs> and I thought the chili was the bad part. <laughs> anyway. Well, hey, listen. I wanted to talk about a few things. Um, and, and one thing, we're going to talk about some creativity on, on the backside. But... Wait, fun. <laughs> gutter, you're in the gutter. <laughs> Lucky Martin Page is not here on that. Yeah, no kidding, no kidding. But uh, I did, I did want to talk a little bit about. Um... <laughs> Sorry, but come on, <laughs> Mom, come on. <laughs> no, come on. Okay, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> see, see, you get to see. It. To emerge from bankruptcy, there is a couple of more examples of the regional coverage we provide you. Because you appreciate that we cover the issues that impact the quality of life in our region, place a dollar you on this service this morning and go to stlpublicradio.org to make your gift or call 314-516-4000. And we're talking particularly to new members. We're looking for you and 13 other new members to join before 9 o'clock on this final day of our spring member campaign. And we're hearing from new members around the area from somewhat new member in St. Louis. They said, it's my go-to source for finding out what's happening. I'm going to open up Reaper now and you can take a look at its settings for the exclusive mode. And now we'll take a look at uh, voice meter settings. And the main thing to remember is this needs to be in composite mode here in A1 so that these inputs separate each channel individually so that you can apply them to the input of the Reaper tracks. And that's just the basic setup. It, I think it becomes very useful for a media center to have software like this running with the ability to record either audio and video or, or one or the other. You can take some graphic equalizer plugins like this. You can kind of keep track of the audio and the volume. You also have the ability to send and communicate via an app like Skype or Discord or even Mumble. Thanks for watching.